Is your iPhone not stopping at the 80% charging limit like it should? That feature is super handy for maintaining your battery's health, but sometimes it can act up due to a few settings. No worries though, I've got you covered in this video. I'll guide you through simple steps to troubleshoot and fix the issue. So your iPhone charges just the way it's supposed to. Let's jump right in. Solution 1. Verify optimized battery charging is enabled. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. Then scroll down and tap battery. If you're using a new iPhone, tap charging. Here, you'll see the option to limit your charge between 80% and 100%. Try switching the limit from 80 to 90% and then back to 80%. If you're using an older iPhone, tap battery health and charging instead. Make sure optimized battery charging is turned on. If it's off, toggle it on to enable the 80% limit. After that, restart your iPhone to ensure the changes take effect. Solution 2. Ensure location services are enabled. The optimized battery charging feature depends on location services to understand your charging habits. Follow these steps to enable them. Open settings on your iPhone. Then scroll down and tap privacy and security. After that, tap location services. Make sure the location services toggle is switched on. Now scroll down and tap system services. Ensure both system customization and significant locations are turned on. Solution 3. Reset all settings. If the problem persists, resetting all settings might help resolve software conflicts. Don't worry, this won't delete your personal data. Here's how. Open the settings app and tap general. Then scroll down and select transfer or reset iPhone. After that, tap reset and choose reset all settings. This will reset Wi-Fi networks and configurations, but your data will remain intact. Once your device resets, go back to battery health and charging and re-enable optimized battery charging. And that's it. By following these steps, you should have the 80% charging limit feature working smoothly again on your iPhone. If this video helped you out, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips. See you next time.